In this video, we will learn few tricks which can increase our working speed in MS Excel. So let's start. Suppose we want to enter same value in multiple cells or in a range. So how can we do that quickly? I will select the range. Now I will enter any value. And I will press Ctrl and Enter. So this is how we can quickly enter same value in multiple cells or in a range. Let me delete this. Second is, how can we sum values given in a range? Let me write some values. Now, now I want to sum this range in this highlighted cell. Either I can use some formula or there is a smart key that is smart key is alt and equal sign alt and equal sign press enter so this is how we can quickly sum a range let me write the key alt and equal sign so let me delete this third is how can we copy and paste only formatting or how can we apply same formatting in more than one cell let me write some values now if i color it increase the font size now i want to apply the same formatting to few other cells how can i do it i will select this cell and i will double click on format painter then I will select the desired cell. Now I want to get rid of this formatting or, or I don't want to apply to further cells. So I will again go to format painter and one click. So this is how we can apply only formatting by double clicking on format pen painter. Let me delete this. Next is how to delete all blank cells in a range quickly let me create an example I have a value a then two blank cells then B then blank cells C then blank cells D now now I want to delete blank cells between the filled cells so how can I do it quickly I will select the range I will press the key F5 I will select special then blank then ok now in this selection I will right click somewhere after right right click I will select delete and shift cells up and we are done so this is how we can quickly delete blank cells between filled cells let me delete this also now how can we display formula given in any number of cells on a sheet so let me create an example let me write some values and I will write the formula as this value plus 10 so maybe uh, any other formula like multiplied by 10 enter now I will select the formula and I will drag down now I want to see that what are all cells where I have applied formula so how I can do that I will press the key control plus acute accent key sign that sign is given on the button where we have tilde sign in the nearby button of tab or caps lock so i will press control and acute accent sign so once i press that key i will get the all cells in the format where we can see that formula is applied now again I want to resume to the same format I will press the same key again 
control plus acute accent key. So let me write down that key control plus this sign. So this is how we can quickly figure out that how, where we have applied formulas. So let me delete this. My next trick is if I have values like uh, Jan, Pam, March, now I want to increase the width of these three columns. So how can I do it quickly? I will select these three columns and out of selection I will select any column and I will increase the width. So all three columns will have the standard width. Same I can do with the rows. I can select any number of rows. Out of selection I can select any single row and I can increase the height of row. So all the rows in selection will be of same height. So this is how we can quickly increase or decrease height and width of rows and columns. Let me delete this. Now, how can we add columns or cells or rows quickly? So for that, what we can do is, let me create an example. These are four columns. Now I want to insert two columns between B and C. So what I will do, I will select these two columns, right click and insert. So this is how we can insert more than one columns in one go. If I want to insert three columns, I will select three columns, then right click, then insert. Same we can do with the rows. I can select more than one rows. If I want to insert four rows, then I will select four rows and right click and insert. This is how we can insert rows and column in bulk. Now my last trick in this video is if we want to work on multiple sheets simultaneously. So how can we do that? We can do that by grouping the sheets. So how we can group sheets? Suppose I want to enter a keyword in cell A1, but not only on this sheet, I want to enter on sheet 1, sheet 2 and sheet 3. So what I will do, I will select sheet 1 then control, I will keep pressing control and then I will select sheet 2 then again sheet 3. We need to hold on control key. Now these three sheets are grouped. If I enter something here in A1 like hello world enter. So now I have entered only on sheet 1 in A1 cell but as we had grouped these three sheets so this value should be there also on sheet 2 and sheet 3 so let me check sheet 2 also has value if i select sheet 3 this also has value now as these three sheets are grouped if i increase or decrease width of column or row or any activity same activity will be performed on all the sheets which are grouped if I select sheet 1, we can see that height, sorry, width of column has been increased. Now, we are done with the task which we wanted to perform in a group. Now, I want to ungroup the sheets. So, how can we ungroup the sheets? We can select any grouped sheet, then right click, then I will select the ungroup sheet. 
so this is how by applying few tips and tricks we can enhance our working speed in ms excel i hope you like this video thank you for watching if you like this video kindly subscribe to my channel